The ridges there. In Denver, Colorado the other day. My name is Morgan Alu, and I will be the MC for tonight. People gathered for an event called Trout Tank H2O. I'm seeking $500,000. A play off the U.S. reality TV show Shark Tank, in which aspiring entrepreneurs competed to sell investors on their business ideas. Trout Tank featured five businessmen pitching their water-related companies to a panel of judges. We started our company here in Denver, Colorado, out of a garage. Coca Pelli makes light inflatable pack rafts. In-stream water takes aim at single-use plastic water bottles. We are a network of freestanding, weatherproof, filtered water refill stations that are installed in public places and dispense clean filtered water into a reusable bottle. Culver Vanderyacht's invention revolves like around one. toilets. This one is a water consuming monster. His product called Sink Twice is a sink that sits on top of the toilet. One flush sends clean water through the faucet and onto your hands for washing, then directly into the tank below. Sink Twice connects directly to the valve, and the valve comes straight from the city. In fact, some say cleaner than the water that comes out of a faucet. Vanderyat so says several thousand have been sold. <laughs> the device detects water leaks and saves water and space in the bathroom. It's the kind of new approach to water challenges this pitch event was after. Water is a critical resource out here in the West, just like it is uh, throughout the entire world. So anything that we can do or play a role in finding innovative solutions to protect that precious resource, we're all in. We're going to redefine how Americans value our forests. Mike Smith's company uses carbon offset credits to help replenish forests. We're facing some severe environmental challenges, and without innovation within the sector, it all, everything else falls apart. This is my uh, uh, license plate. The five businesses took part in an eight-week accelerator program before undergoing some light grilling. So today, how are you manufacturing? How are you targeting people as they? our new uh, home builders. Is there a lot of competition in this area? Mike Smith from Renew West. In the end, Smith took top prize of $5,000 along with some valuable exposure, including to potential investors. He says environmental innovation has been slow in coming until very recently. I think it's about to burst through in a big way in the next couple of years. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.